Houston. <sighs> Holly here. <sighs> I've landed on the moon. <sighs> oh, hi kids. Welcome here. You are on the moon. Did you know that? I'm just kidding. My name's Holly. Welcome back to the lab online preschool experience. I'm not a real astronaut. I was just pretending. But did you know I was researching astronauts and I found some pretty cool stuff. Like, did you know that space has no air? <gasps> I know! How do they breathe? Good question. Well, first I have another fact. Did you know that there is no sound in space? Oh, I know! You could make like the biggest sound like oh, and nobody would hear it. So that's why it's so important that astronauts wear these big fancy suits because they have an air tank built inside so they can breathe when they're outside on the moon. And they also have special radios inside the helmet so they can talk to each other. Could you imagine being on space and not being able to talk to anybody? Oh, that would be so tricky. It's very important that astronauts can talk to each other so they can make sure they don't get lost and they can know when to get back on the spaceship so it doesn't take off without them. Now, you know, speaking of communication and talking, our story today is about two guys. Their names are John and Peter, and they had some very important talking to do. They were sharing a super important message. So why don't we go check out Callie's world and find out what the message was together. Hey there. Are you ready to blast off into another story? I love stories. I especially love stories about spaceships, faraway planets, and outer space adventures. Those are the stories I like to hear over and over again. And I like to tell other people about them too. Well, this story is so amazing that I can't wait to tell you about it. If you're ready for the story, count down with me. Let's hear it. Three, two, one, blast off. I am so excited to tell you this story today. Have you ever had a story you couldn't wait to tell? Maybe you saw a really cool animal and couldn't wait to tell your grandma about it. Or maybe you learned a new trick at the playground and wanted to show your dad or mom right away. Well, this story is so amazing that I can't wait to tell you about it. In the Bible, we can read about two guys, Peter and John, who were really excited about sharing a story too. It was the story of Jesus. They couldn't wait to tell others about how Jesus came to save the whole world and how he loves each and every one of us so much. They knew all about Jesus because they were Jesus' friends and they couldn't wait to tell everyone about him. But the problem was some people didn't want Peter and John to talk about Jesus. They were the leaders of the city and they were afraid that people would start listening to Jesus instead of listening to them. So they arrested Peter and John and put them in prison, saying, Stop telling people about Jesus. You might think Peter and John would be scared or sad to be in prison, but even though they were in a scary place, they kept telling people about Jesus and how Jesus came to save us. When the leaders of the city asked Peter and John why they would keep talking about Jesus after they'd been told not to, they said, We've seen what Jesus has done and we can't stop talking about it. Then they let them go. Peter and John wanted to tell everyone about Jesus. That's how excited they were. Just like Peter and John, we can share God's story too. Did you guys catch what the important message was that John and Peter were sharing with other people? It was the message of Jesus, yeah. John and Peter were so excited about Jesus that they could not wait but tell everybody about it. It would be kind of like if you guys were having a birthday or maybe you got a new puppy, would you be so excited to tell people about that? Yeah, because that's very exciting news. Well, that's exactly how God wants us to feel about Him. He wants us to be so excited we can't help but share about Him with other people. And you know what? There's one way we one way we can do that is by knowing our memory verses. We can share those with people in times where they're maybe sad or need some encouragement. 
That's one reason we love to turn to the Bible here at The Lab Kids. Because we know it's God's words for us. In fact, we have a memory verse this month that we've been practicing. Why don't we go say it together? Hi kids, let's do our memory verse together. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Psalm 119 verse 105. Good job, let's do it again. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Psalm 119 verse 105. Good job. Great job, friends. You know, God just loves it when we share about Him with other people. We should be so excited about Jesus that we can't help but share about Him with others. In fact, why don't we pray right now and ask God to help us be filled with that excitement and help us practice sharing Him with others this week. How about you fold your hands and close your eyes with me. Dear God, thank you so much for your story and all the incredible things that you did here on earth. I pray that we would be so excited and just filled with your excitement this week and that we would be brave and share that excitement with other people. We thank you so much. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, my friends, I had so much fun hanging out with you here on Space. Now, I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you back here next week for The Lab Kids online preschool experience. Bye! Turn around, jump around, everybody.